We're here at the screening of Five Minutes of Heaven, starring Liam Neeson and James Nesbitt, and they're right behind us. Hi, Liam. Thank you for talking to entertainment.ie. Uh, your portrayal of Alistair in uh, Five Minutes of Heaven was excellent. Uh, you totally had me won over, despite what Alistair did at the beginning of the film. Oh, thank you very much. It was it's just a very, very intriguing script, and it, it seemed to say something uh, very definitely about life in Northern Ireland then yeah. and now, yeah. without being slapped in the face with heavy political stuff, you know, it was, uh, and, and just the uniqueness of how the script came about was, was special. I thought, you know? exactly. um, has filming for Lincoln started yet? No, it's in the works. Okay. And are you excited about working with Steven Spielberg again Over. after all this time? Yeah. Just want to talk about the storyline now. It touches on a very sensitive subject uh, in relation to the troubles. How did the whole getting the story together and that process work with you? Okay, um, I was asked to do something about the uh, legacy of the troubles um, by BBC Northern Ireland, and it took me a while to work out uh, what the story should be. <clears throat> then I heard that um, the BBC did a documentary called Facing the Truth in which they, uh, it was about reconciliation, in which the perpetrators of, 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 of violence met the uh, families um, of the victim. And uh, Joe and Alistair were invited onto this program, but Joe said, um, uh, if ever I'm in a room with that man, I'll kill him. Uh, and uh, Alistair killed Joe's brother 33 years beforehand, and I thought if he's got that much anger s still in him after 33 years, then that's the story to tell. And so that's what I did. I started, and then I developed. I met, so I met Alistair, and I met Joe. Uh, took a while to track Joe down, but uh, and and so I then came into their lives, and that was about three years ago. And um, you know, I'm still meeting them, and we're still talking, even though the film's finished. Yeah, yeah. And it won two awards at the Sundance yeah, Film Festival. Yeah. Like that's a fantastic achievement. Yeah. Well, it was a BBC Four. It was a kind of a small digital channel film to start with uh, and it's kind of grown um, and uh, so actually everything that we do from now on is, is like a bonus, like this, is a, this is a bonus for us and the Sundance thing's a bonus but the thing that pleases me most of all is that I haven't let Joe and Alistair down because you know that's my main responsibility And picking um, Neeson and Nesbitt as the role characters did you play a role in that or did you know straight away whenever you were writing Jimmy it? Was, Jimmy was already attached to it uh, you know, as you know, he's very keen on doing uh, um, community stuff in, in Northern Ireland. Um, and so the patron of, of the Wave Centre for, uh, you know, people who, who, who've been traumatised and, and things like that. So he was, he was always wanting to do this project, provided the script came up good enough. Liam, um, well, I, I, I wrote Liam a rather personal, passionate letter saying, please, could he read the script? And I didn't know him at all. And um, he was in New York, where he lives, and... Uh, he, he uh, phoned me up three days later and said, um, you know, I'm Liam Neeson and that's, I know it's late on Sunday night, but I've just read your script and can we talk? So I said, no, no, I didn't. <laughs> well, I said, yeah, fantastic. So we spoke for about an hour and he committed to it there and then. Hi, James. Hi, Thanks for talking to Entertainment. Oh. Now, this is your second film about the Troubles. Um, I, you played Ivan Cooper, obviously, yeah, yeah. In, in Bloody Sunday. Which character did you find more emotionally draining to play? I know they're, they're, they're completely different characters, but Joe Griffin and Ivan Cooper? They're very different. I mean, yeah. Joe is... Uh, I mean, Ivan was fantastic, and, but, but Ivan had, um, uh, you know, a, a political uh, ideology and a wonderful... Uh, he, he was a great orator, and, and, and his story was quite sort of set out. Joe's is very complicated, but... Um, but they were both honest men, and they both helped me enormous, enormously. And, and, and Joe's a, a very, for someone whose life was so damaged by this event, very articulate, funny, great um, source for me to kind of tap into. You could really see the, the dark parts of humour in the film. Yeah. I, I, what, I wasn't exactly expecting that, and it was, it was a really good reprieve. Well, I, I think that works, you know, because as, you know, as tragic as the events uh, have um, made Joe's life, in a way, but he's still got a sense of humour, you know I mean? He, Joe wants to move on in a way, and this film, I think, is uh, part of that process. What was it like working with Liam Neeson, and uh, actually, at some stages, under Liam Neeson? Ah, <laughs> uh, great. He's, um, I love him. 
You know, it's fun enough for a short of length because he grew up in the same street as my granny, but we didn't meet until only a couple of years ago, but we clicked immediately. And um, he's a, 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 he gives a terrific performance in this. I think a standout, magnificent performance in this. And, um, but he's just a generous, big, down-to-earth man, you know. He's, um, I'd like to be him. Yeah, I think a lot of people would. Yeah, yeah. Um, of course, you're, you're very successful in films and also in TV. Have you got any uh, TV roles in, in the pipeline? I've just shot a thing called Occupation, a three hours for the BBC about Iraq, um, okay. which we shot in Belfast, funnily enough. And uh, I'm about to do a film called Outcast, a Celtic horror film. A Celtic horror film? Yeah, yeah. Who, uh, who's directing that? Colin McCarthy, who directed me in Murphy's Law, uh, and he's written it with his brother, but it's good. And, uh, and where's it set? It's set in Ireland, in the south of Ireland. Hi, Oliver. You're talking to entertainment.ie. Yeah. Um, I'd like to congratulate you, firstly, for the masterpiece that was Downfall. I thought, I thought that was absolutely much. fantastic. And also, um, for the two Sundance Awards that Five Minutes of Heaven ha have won, um, did you find it particularly hard to g give a, a, a different perspective, given you're, you're not Irish? I think it was my big advantage that I'm not Irish. Yeah. <laughs> And perspective. You know, I'm not even, I'm not, if I am religious, I'm a Buddhist. So yeah. I'm just, there's no way to take sides for me there. I, was, I never thought about that. I was just dealing with uh, human drama to real people and a and, uh, wonderfully written uh, script with wonderful characters. So it's like the ultimate that you can ask for as a director. And what have you, any other projects coming up in the pipeline or anything you can talk about? Any exclusives? Uh, it's I'm at the moment I must say I'm showered with scripts and uh, good ones at that and I'm kind of in a jam because I don't honestly I don't know what to do first and <laughs> how to do there's another script uh, with Guy Hibbert oh, it's set in Africa that's how we met actually ah, and I hope that's we get that going in uh, in uh, late autumn this year and uh, except for that there's all this other stuff that I have to shuffle around there Prioritise, yeah. But thank you very much for your time, Oliver, and congratulations on the film again. Thank you. Thank you.